In chapter 7, I'm sorry, in chapter 6, um, we are talking about uh, how consumers make their optimal choices. And what we basically want to better understand is how the demand curve is constructed. So with that, uh, we need to first have an understanding of um, the three elements that um, figure into our choice, which would be the prices of the things that we're going to buy, the income that we have, and the utility that we get from certain things. Number two, we're going to look specifically then at the nature of choice, how choices are made um, with respect to our wants. or our desires. Then we're also going to get to this idea of the diminishing marginal utility. Fourth, we're going to look at the marginal utility. So when I write marginal utility, I'm going to refer to it as MU. We're going to look at the marginal utility per dollar spent, and we're going to look at that rule, how that figures into things. Then we're going to look at the how the consumer then reaches an equilibrium when they have two goods that they're trying to choose between. Then in number six, we are going to look at the budget constraint, and we're going to look at essentially how choices are made when we have a limit on our income. And then finally, we want a better, um, um, essentially, how does this lead us to understanding our demand curve? Okay, so uh, essentially then over this ch uh, chapter, we will have these uh, seven topics.